Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to understand about the zero shot prompting. Now zero shot prompting is a technique where you ask the AI LLM models to perform any task and you don't give any examples at all. This prompt relies completely on the trained knowledge of the LLM, pre-trained knowledge. So when you have the large language models, for example, you are using chat GPT, behind that there is a large language model. In the front end, you see the text box wherein you can go ahead and type your queries. For example, if I go ahead to the chat GPT here, so this is the chat window. So here, if I go ahead and ask something, you will see these are, uh, you know, some of the models. So basically, if you'll see that there is another model, chat GPT Go, which for which you have to upgrade. This is the free version. So I'm just using the chat GPT free version and there is a model behind it. Now, the when you ask the question without providing any example or prompt without providing any example, then that is a zero shot prompting. Now, what happens basically, for example, if we go ahead and understand what exactly is the zero shot prompting say for example i want to translate something okay i say go ahead and uh, translate something to some other language say i'll translate hello to spanish okay so if i ask this so translate this word hello to spanish and let's see what what happens no examples nothing so you'll see straight away hello in spanish is hola so that's the learning that the model has done or pre-training that has been done for the translation so no examples nothing for general tasks zero short prompting is good right if you are if you are just providing some text asking it to translate even if you don't provide any examples that's all good now how exactly this happens behind the scene so these GPT models, for example, chat GPT, where you have GPT-4, GPT-5, currently is GPT-5. These models are trained on large set of data and can understand the text that we are entering. And based on that, based on that context, they can automatically provide you answer based on the learning that they have already done. Now, why should you as a testing professional or as an IT professional, you should be aware of these prompting technique because you will be able to when when you know where to use which type of prompt prompting you will be able to then minimize your first thing usage of tokens when you ask better prompting as well as you will be able to get better answers for example if you are looking for general answers in terms of getting the results from the testing space so I can provide or I want general test case scenarios for a particular feature, which is very common feature, for example, say login scenario. Okay, so I can go ahead and ask general, I, I just want to look for general scenarios that are possible for the login scenario. So I can ask write functional test cases for e-commerce, say for example, I'm looking for e-commerce registration not login let's say registration functionality now this is very common functionality in the e-commerce application i just want to look for very common scenarios the functional test cases for the e-commerce registration functionality so straight away i'll get the answers which are gen in general so i can go ahead and see that these are the general test cases that i should be able to utilize but if i want very specific if i have a user story and very specific requirement in my user story then in that case i have to go ahead and use other type of prompting so that's where zero shot prompting general general answers you're looking for generic answers you're looking for that's where you should be using zero shot prompting okay so straight away you will see all of the core ideas and core test cases are being suggested with the zero shot prompting now the next thing is how you can create zero shot prompting or what are the best practices if we talk about so make sure that you summarize the prompt and be very specific use a specific core and key text then if you can specify the role or some context that will be helpful as well even if you're not providing example at least context and role you can provide then don't go ahead and have some ambiguity in your question for example here i have been asking specific around e-commerce website registration functionality right so this is well more clear 
and I am just asking you know functional test cases which is, which implies that it is around the testing space. So this way you will be able to get some generic answer which will be helpful for you and it will provide better answers. If there won't be any ambiguity you will get or the LLM model won't hallucinate and you will get better answers because if there is in your prompt itself if it is ambiguous the LLM models get hallucinated and you might get garbage output as well. So that's where make sure even if it is zero shot prompting you are not providing a lot of examples still role context if you can specify that will provide you better output. So this is briefly about the zero shot prompting from the testing space or from the development space make sure you keep the prompts simple with the context and you will get relevant answers. So that's all for the zero shot prompting. In the next video, we'll cover one shot prompting with example. Thank you. See you in the next one.